Hey there, my little shadows. It's me again, your master, the Shadow Reader, here today to provide you all with yet a new video. Now, this video obviously isn't what my usual typical creepypasta videos and the like are, but this is on a subject matter that I usually tend to sit there and hear. And apologies for the sirens and everything in the background. I'm currently recording this uh, late at night. And obviously there are police officers and ambulance workers and out there, hopefully nobody's actually hurt or anything, but to get back on track, um, I'm making this video because I see this comment quite a lot on any time I post artwork. And it isn't even solely just on the artwork that I do, but artwork and everything of people that I personally follow. And every time I see this phrase, every time I've ever seen this phrase be uttered, a part of my soul, to be completely and utterly honest with all of you, dies. The phrase that I am quoting is the following, I wish I could draw, but I can't draw, or another variation of, I wish I could be such a great artist as you, or more importantly, and one of the ones that I see quite commonly is, I can't even draw a circle. I'll never become a great artist. Now, I want to make it clear. I am in no way, shape, or form an expert at drawing. Hell, I've been doing, I've been drawing for like well over a year plus so far, and even I myself am learning a hell of a lot just to sit there and, you know, do proper artwork. But, you know, even with me sitting there and learning, you know, that's one of the key things, is I'm learning this kind of thing. And that is the first thing that many of you who think that you can't draw or you can't make artwork need to understand that in order to become a great artist, you have to sit there and learn. Specifically, you need to go out of your way and learn about anatomy, which is one of the more important things depending on what specific art style that you're doing. But then again, any level of artwork and the like, unless you're doing things specifically for backgrounds or backdrops or things of that nature, oftentimes require a um, opportunity at learning proper anatomy, which in all due honesty, especially given the fact that we have like a ton of different reference images and the like, tutorials on YouTube, here, um, you know, Google, wherever it is, you certainly can learn. I mean, hell, there's books on Amazon that you can get that you can properly learn how to draw. And I understand entirely why people sit there and think that they can't draw. You know, there are some people out there that oftentimes lack motivation, which is probably one of the more common ones. The second most common one is sometimes people have gone out of their way and they've attempted to try and draw or try and make artwork, whether it be digital art or traditional art, but let's be completely honest with each other. We've all started off with traditional art, which was something I'm going to be getting at later. And of course, you know, the people out there that basically just, well, the people out there that have obviously tried to do artwork, but have, in their mind, failed, and thus they've basically dropped it altogether. Again, anybody has the capability of drawing. The only thing that you have to do is put in the time and the effort that is needed in order to be able to properly draw. Me, I've been doing this for well over a year now, if not almost a year and a half at this point, and... You know, despite the progress and everything that I've made, I'm personally still learning. I think I've already made a mention of that in the very beginning of the video, but it rings true. You know, there are many ways you can sit there and become an amazing artist, or at the very least, just be, you know, a decent artist. But again, you have to sit there and learn this kind of thing. But what does, this any, what does any of this have to correlate with the things that I constantly keep seeing? Well, again not a lot of people are going out of their way and really pushing themselves and giving as much motivation as they can to sit there and actually make good artwork. And I know that. I know what that feeling is like, especially when I really started getting back into drawing way back in 2000 and, I, I don't know, 18. In fact, you know, that's like the earliest time I actually started really going out of my way and drawing. And I remember sitting there and making these terrible looking, god awful monstrosities. And I will be making sure of it. If you're not seeing it right now, you should see it right now. Two of the earliest pictures that I actually went out of my way and 
ever uploaded online for people to see. And you can definitely see that it is a mess. I mean, t look at that artwork. Look at that picture of Austin. Look at that picture of Pablo. I mean, the arms are so dang short. The heads are way too big. The proportions are completely uneven. It looks awful. And, you know, I'm going to let you all know that that's to be expected. I mean, nobody is going to start drawing perfectly. Everyone has a startup. And the thing the thing with it is that, you know, with that startup, you're going to re realize that you're not exactly as good at what you're not exactly as good as you know you think you are unless you go out of your way and properly practice. And that's precisely the one thing that I failed to do way back in 2018, which is why I kind of stopped and kind of quit artwork for a year, which is something that I don't think anybody should do. Sure enough, the artwork that you make right now, or what you think that you're making right now, doesn't look that great, but with time and with effort and with plenty of references and the like, you can definitely make amazing artwork. And you want to know the first thing that anyone who wants to start off you know, drawing, making artwork, or things of that nature, um, should do. If you really want to get started at what you need to, at what you want to do, grab a sketchbook and a thing of pencils, and just start drawing. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be your attempt at trying to draw backgrounds. It could be you practicing anatomy, which is extremely important. I recommend everybody practice anatomy. There's plenty of references on Google Images any place where you can sit there and actually, you know, start working with that. But, you know, there's tutorials on YouTube, there's countless art mediums out there that anybody could sit there and go out of their way and use to their advantage. And, you know, let's just say that you don't want to use a video. That's perfectly fine. There's plenty of references in the library, books you can learn about drawing, uh, how to sit there and properly draw. I mean, heck, I've got a book that I had from Five Below that I had called, that I had called You Can Draw. And it has countless pictures and the like for people who are, tra for traditional art and digital art as well, on how to sit there and work things with, you know, clothing, with anatomy, with hands, drawing, and all that. You know, all those things right there are contained in these books. And, you know, you certainly can take those things and learn from them. I mean, that's precisely the kind of thing that I did. And... Sure enough, I have to do a lot more improvement. You know, that's a full-on fact. But the main thing I'm really I'm I'm trying to say is this. For those of you who think you can't draw, I can promise you you can. You just need to sit there and try and find some level of motivation. And this motivation can be anything. It could be you sitting there and drawing simple shapes, simple forms, you know, anything that you really want to go out of your way and start on. And, you know, sit there and just keep on working at it over and over and over again. Gradually over time, if you continue to go out of your way and learn, go out of your way and really try and, you know, you know, pinpoint the issues that you have with specific parts in that drawing and strive to improve on them more, listening to criticism and things like that, you can definitely become, you know, great at what you do. And one of the main keys... This is from, this is my own opinion. There are other artists out there that have their own thoughts, but this is my opinion. It's worked for me, and perhaps maybe it can work for you. Be self-critical on the work that you do. Any kind of drawing that you make, sit there and look over it. You know, it could be your first drawing, it could be your 10th drawing, it could be your 100th drawing, it could be a mi your millionth drawing for all I know. But the one thing that definitely can either hinder or help your art improvement is self criticism, but also taking criticism from other people as well, no matter how harsh it is or how positive it is. You need to be able to take any level of criticism, mostly coming from yourself and coming from others, in order to sit there and be able to improve on whatever it is that you need to improve on. And I get it, you know, some people have a little bit of a hard time being able to take criticism, but people, criticism is the most important thing when it comes to working and improving your artwork. And, you know, you're not limited in anything that you want to sit there and do. In fact, starting up drawing is the best way to sit there and kind of find yourself. You know, find what you want to make. You know, some people go out of their way and they draw, you know, just regular people. 
I mean, go out online, look on DeviantArt, look at uh, Google Images, look at any place. You know, people sit there and they draw, you know, humans, they draw people, they draw backgrounds, they draw th simple things like that. And there's other themes like anime. Personally, for me, I do furry artwork. Come after me, people. I don't give a shit. Um, who sit there, like myself, who do furry artwork, which, let me tell you, furry art is not exactly very easy to do, especially when you're trying to learn, you know, basic human anatomy as well as an animal anatomy as well. And, like I've said before, even I'm still trying to improve on that, especially with hands. But if I really, but... I know I'm kind of going all over the place right now, I don't really have a script for this one, I kind of want to make this a quick video, but understand me when I say this, that just keep on trying, keep on striving to become better at what you do when it comes to your artwork. You know, you sit there and you draw it and you think it looks bad, okay, don't quit your, what you, what, don't quit what you're doing, don't stop, don't sit there and lose motivation from what you're doing, sit there and look at it and be critical at what you are looking at. And if you really need to, send that picture or whatever to someone else, go to art groups on like, you know, websites or wherever, and you know, post that there and ask them, you know, what do I need to do to improve this artwork? You know, and listen to what people have to say. But most importantly, Sit there and be able to take criticism for yourself. If you are not self-critical in any way or form, then you will not improve whatsoever. This is, this is the case with anything, traditional art or digital art. And like I've said before, again, the best thing I can recommend anybody go out of their way and do when they're first starting off with artwork is get a sketchbook and get some pencils. It doesn't even have to be anything fancy. It could be simple number two pencils. It could be sketch pencils. It could be any kind of pencils that you really want to use. And of course, a pencil sharpener and proper erasers. And sit there and just draw. You know, whenever you're bored, you know, just break out your sketch pad. You know, just start sketching whatever it is that you want to sit there and sketch. If you really want to honestly improve your artwork and you're in school or something, take art classes. You know, if... Artwork is something that you really, really like, or you really want to give it a shot, go for it. If your school has an art class that you want to take as an elective, do that. That's what I did, personally. I didn't take too many of them, to be honest, and I kind of wish that I did. That's a regret that I do have. But if you have the opportunity to do so, then do that. But if for some reason a class format isn't something that you really want to go out of your way and work with, then that's perfectly fine, too. There's plenty of self taught artists like myself, uh, others like Bonitis, Antidev, um, Art Rock 15, countless other individual artists out there are usually self-taught. And that is a great thing to do, but, you know, obviously that doesn't work for everybody. I'm not saying that, you know, you have to do that unless that's something you want to do. But, you know, take advantage right now. You know, you have now until the rest of your life to sit there and make something out of what you want to sit there and do. And, you know, this is a little something else too. If you sit there and you draw and you realize that it's just not your forte, it's not your taste, that's perfectly okay too. You know, you don't have to solely just do art or anything. You can do anything else that you want to do. Art in and of its own self is not strictly just drawing on a pencil. Artwork is writing, artwork is cooking, artwork is improving yourself, well, specifically on like things that you enjoy doing. You know, artwork in and of its own self could be crafting, it could be making things, plushies, uh, blankets, you know, patterns, anything really, or even just simplistic backgrounds or whatever it is. I mean, there really is outright no limit whatsoever to the things that you can sit there and you can make, you can do, you can draw, whatever it is. A lot of things that we have in this world is based around artistic capability. And again, it's not solely just limited to things like, you know, drawing on a sketch pad or a pencil, paper, whatever it may seem to be. But what I'm getting at is this, you know, if it's really not something that you want to sit there and do, that's perfectly fine. You have many other different kind of options that you want to work with. I mean, not everybody is... Everybody can draw, but not everybody has to. You know, you're not, you know, bound to sit there and go out of your way and draw if, you, if you're really not comfortable doing so. And the, re the, the reason I'm making this video is, even though it's kind of choppy, even though there's really no script being said, I'm just kind of just 
you know, I'm going out of my way and I'm pouring out my heart to all of you because, you know, I know you guys can do it. I know many of you who want to sit there and make artwork or who really want to start up with making artwork are capable of doing it. One good example of this is, well, for one, Rabid Fanatic. You know, he's started off relatively simplistically. I remember when he really went out of his way and started drawing. He showed me some of his pictures. You know, of, of course, at first, you know, in my opinion, I think they look good, but, you know, they weren't exactly very even in a way. But gradually over time, you know, he kept on striving to improve. Shadow Lioness, or in this case, Queen of Lions. I know I keep saying Shadow Lioness, but stuck in my head, people. <laughs> even she's going out of her way and she's trying to improve a lot more in her artwork. And, you know, and she's doing a good job. But that right there is because, you know, you put a lot of time and you put a lot of effort into it. And, that's, and, and it shows. It shows a lot. And it's amazing how much improvement you can make when you really push yourself to do it. And, and, and you know, this is my thing. If you really want to go out of your way and you want to start drawing properly, get a sketch pad, get a pencil, like I've said, and just spend about an hour or so sketching. Whatever it is that you want to sit there and sketch. If you want to draw cartoon characters, go for it. If you want to practice anime, do that. If you want to sit there and you make want to make furry art like I do, do that as well. You know, anything that you really want to go out of your way and draw, make, do, or whatever is entirely up to you. And don't ever let anybody sit there and hold you back. And which leads me to my secondary point. There are unfortunately going to be people who are going to be unnecessarily vile when it comes to sitting there and, um, you know, critiquing your art, if you can even really call it critiquing. In fact, one of the things that kind of kept me drawing, and this is my own fault, and I know I sound a little bit hypocritical saying this, but one of the things that kind of stopped me at that point was a couple of comments basically literally going after me, insulting me, claiming, you know, oh my gosh, this looks so horrible. It looks like you drew with cerebral palsy, despite the fact that I actually do have cerebral palsy. I've been diagnosed with that when I was like freaking in a damn infant, but at the same time, you know, obviously those kind of comments don't really bother me. If anything, their motivation to keep on striving to improve. And I completely understand, you know, some people kind of more or less backing away from that, but I'm going to say this, don't ever let, don't let it happen to you like it happened with me. You know, keep on going. Every kind of negative comment that you get from specific art or whatever it may seem to be, take that as an opportunity to strive to improve more and more every single day. If someone sits there and says that your artwork is a complete and utter vile piece of shit and you should jump off a cliff, take that, even though it's disgustingly vile and rude to even go out of your way and say that, you know, take some of that and take it, take a little bit into some level of consideration and just keep on working at it. And you know what? You know, there's things that many people can work on. Me personally, I have to work I have to work better on hands. You know, hands are not exactly an easy thing to do. Take something that you have that you struggle the most with and strive to improve that. You know, if you're really good at drawing bodies, that's great. You know, keep with that, but always keep on improving more with it. And you know, um, same thing with hands, same thing with facial features, anything like such. And like I've said before, even I'm still improving on this. I'm not perfect at what I'm doing. But the one thing that separates, you know, the person who just outright quits to the person who keeps on going is, you know, accepting that, you know, you have flaws, that everyone has flaws, but having flaws in your artwork and everything and, you know, continuing to strive to improve that artwork. Anyway, my little shadows, I know that this is a very short video in retrospect compared to what I normally go out of my way and do. Like I said, I didn't want to make this a very long video, but hopefully, and I really do hope that for some of you, you guys go out of your way and you strive to improve better with the artwork that you make. I definitely believe in every single one of you who want to start up drawing and everything, you know, go out of your way and really just keep on going with it. And if you need people to go out of your way and critique or something, or you want like a vast audience going out of their way and pointing out what they need to be pointed out, or, 
or something like that, you know, let me know. You know, if you really want, you know, critique and everything with the artwork that you do, you know, feel free to hit me up an email. Uh, I'll ask you if you're okay with me posting it on the community tab. That's only if you're okay with it. And if you just want me to sit there and critique it myself, I'll happily do that. But it's always good to get a second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, eighth opinion in the matter. You know, and I want to sit there and help you guys out as much as I can. Because I know exactly what it's like to sit there and struggle with, you know, artwork or writing or things like that. This is why I do this channel. This is why I sit there and I do what I do because I want to see you guys improve. I want to see you guys become the best you can honestly be. And, you know, take it from me. I started off with artwork that looked like a monstrosity. It looked horrible. It was awful. But the motivation, the criticism and everything that you guys and others and everyone else out there, including myself, have given me has only continued to strive for me to continue on to improve, which is, you know, why I'm doing what I'm doing. Heck, it's gotten to the point now where I've started doing animatics now. I never thought I would actually ever do animatics. And, you know, sooner than later, maybe with 2021, maybe even 2022, I might be doing full on animations, perhaps. I mean... I have intentions of doing so, especially with my next animatic, but, you know, take it from me. But don't just listen to what I have to say. Take my words with a grain of salt. Go out there and, you know, watch other YouTuber artists and the like out there. You know, listen to what they have to say. You know, if you happen to find something that you really want to strive to improve on, you know, look it up. You know, if you need criticism, a little bit more criticism, you know, go out of your way, go on a forum, go on something, you know, post it if you want to. I sometimes don't recommend it, but then again, you can usually get the best kind of criticism if you do happen to post it, but that's your entire, that's your choice. And, you know, just continue on improving, you know, whether it be anatomy, facial features, you know, st art style, things of that nature, you know, do what you need to do. If you really are motivated and you really want to do this, again, I believe in every one of you. I believe you definitely can do this. You can become better. You can become great. You're going to have a lot of flaws. You're going to fail a lot. You're going to sit there and you're going to make monstrosities. I should know, you know, I'm one of those people. But every single failure and mistake that you make is one step closer to becoming great at what you do. Artwork or writing, but... It's always, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, all these little missteps that you have, failures and everything will only help you be get better. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I promise you that. So yes, keep on doing what you're doing. Keep on striving to become better. I want to sit there and see you guys do awesome. And again, like I said, if artwork isn't something that you really want to go out of your way and do... Or if you've really given it your shot and you don't like it, that's okay. And you know something? If you do out of your way and you try and you don't like it, pat yourself on the back knowing that you gave it a shot. You gave it your you gave it a shot. You give it a try. Pat yourself on the back and be proud of yourself that you decided to do something, you know, that you wanted to sit there and do. It may not have worked out in the end, but that's perfectly okay. That is 100 percent okay. Take everything that you get any criticism, whatever, and always continue to learn from it and take it, you know, and just, <laughs> I completely lost my sense of words, but you guys should know what I'm trying to say. I love you guys, and I only want to see you guys continue to improve. Thanks again for watching today's video, you guys. I really hope this video helped you all out. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video coming up this Saturday, and like always, roll the outro because I'm out. As your eyes widen, your mouth goes dry with each battered breath. You try to scream, your mind begs to be glued to your computer screen. The killers they slash, the tapes burn and crash, the cartridge you bought will be your final haunt. The rituals of hate will seal your fate The tears you shed will be from a fever
dripping or drip like marriage door bill terrorizing people burning violent rage inducing knives slashing blood splattering silent screams only time will tell if you will escape this sunlight hell your horror filled obsessions will come with its own regressions your pathetic screams will not be heed in any way because your nightmares will come at any day